I had an encounter with a sleep paralysis demon only twice, but both those incidents weren't very pleasant. It was around 3am and I was awake. I don't know why, I just was. The curtains weren't fully closed and I could see through the window. It was probably my imagination, but I could see a pair of glowing eyes and a grin. The previous day I had been watching videos about the cartoon cat and my brain was going wild because that face in the window looked very much like the cartoon cat. I tried to negotiate with myself and calm myself down by saying, by saying that why would he choose me in particular to visit? It's not like he's going to open the window and jump at me. If I don't move, maybe he might no not notice me. I didn't manage to calm myself down. It was a hot summer night as well, and I was sweating a lot. And I sat there for two or three hours, and I must have fallen asleep after that. In the second incident, it was pretty much the same thing. Same hot weather, the same glowing eyes and grin, the same sweaty panic to me. I rolled over onto my side so that I didn't have to face the window, and I tried to take my mind off him, and then looked over my shoulder, and I saw a tall, shadowy figure standing there as if my heart was going to rip out of my chest because it was beating so hard. I then looked over my shoulder again and realised it was only my alarm clock on my small table that stands next to my bed. And I don't know whether it technically counts as sleep paralysis because I, I wasn't moving on purpose because my theory was that if I didn't move, then he wouldn't be able to do anything to me. And so, I yeah, I don't know if it should count as sleep paralysis.